Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share two hauls that I've placed recently for a new to me shop and yeah, stay tuned if you would like to go through all these goodies with me. Okay, I'm sure you can tell by the title, the shop is Villa Beautiful. Um, I am quickly, or I did quickly, fall in love with this shop, and I placed not one, but two orders. So, I'm going to move the second order off to the side, and I want to go through the first one first. <laughs> um, okay. So I have seen this company quite a bit and I've wanted to try out their pens for a while. I just feel like everyone uses them and they write really well from what I can see. So I decided to make the jump myself. Now when I first placed my first order, I found another item that I really liked and then I quickly went down this huge rabbit hole and found like a ton of really good priced things on their site so i placed a second very much larger order but the first order came with these two freebies uh this one i know they have like a kit that kind of is this theme the girl power um but yeah this is a little sticker sampler and then this is a nice little card it did get beat up in transit um, so there's that, <laughs> but yeah, those were freebies, which was very nice. And then the cool thing about their pens that I just think is so amazing is with every pen you order, you get a re a free refill. So that was completely unexpected and I had never really watched other people's hauls on these pens before. So I didn't realize that, but yeah, that is a very nice. So I have five refills. Um, because I did order five pens and let's go through them. So this one is the one that I actually already unboxed. I typically don't like to mess with my orders um, until I haul them. But in this case, I wanted to kind of give you guys my honest review of this pen. And my review is that I love this pen. It writes very nice. However, every now and then it does skip, which... That's very unfortunate. Uh, when a pen skips, it really bothers me and I just tend to not use it. So uh, let's just do a little test. So there it did not skip, but I'm telling you like when I am writing in like a journal or anything and I thought it might be the paper, but I don't know. And it still could be. But it'll like skip every now and then and it just drives me nuts. But apparently on this paper it does wonderful. Now this is the Erin Condren... On... Um, what is it? Mid-Century Circles Note Cube. And it's not the exact Erin Condren paper. So it's like way more smooth. So let me get my Erin Condren notebook. Okay, this is like... The notepad and this is more like their paper so let me write I don't know if it's just I was using it too long but this is crazy that's not skipping okay you might think I'm crazy but the, I've had it skip a few times um, with that being said I'm still gonna keep the pens they're still gorgeous and they still do apparently you know work <laughs> um, but yeah, so this one is really gorgeous. It is like, um, well, it's gold and then it has the clear crystals on the inside. There was an, an Aries pen, but I'm not the biggest fan of red. And I feel like this just gives me more Aries vibes because of like the clear crystals because, you know, Aries is, or I don't know if it's Aries, but April the birthstone is a diamond so this is kind of my birthstone pen to me I guess and then next I did these were all on clearance by the way I did not pay full price for these um 
I just, I feel like that's where I wanted to shop first to see if I even liked the pen. And this is super hard to get out of this little packaging. I don't know if I want to get them out yet, but this one is a navy cap and it's more matte. This is like a shiny. Um, It's a navy cap with rose gold hardware and then there's like pink, red, and white crystals on the inside. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very gorgeous pen. I'm not the biggest fan of rose gold, but I did like that pen. The rest of them are all gold. This one was like a nude color so it's a nude cap and I guess she paints them I'm not sure um but this one is a glossy paint with gold hardware and then there's like a brown clear and I think there might be a nude crystal in there as well this one I love this light blue so I had to jump on this and it, there's a light blue and white crystals on the inside there may even be a nude and it is, again, gold hardware. And then the last one I picked up, I know the name of this one um, because it's a Christmas pen. And it's called Yuletide. And apparently I can open that one way easier. Um, but this just, like, is so gorgeous to me. It's like a raspberry color with gold hardware. And then there's green and raspberry as well as white and I think light pink crystals on the inside so yeah these pens are very beautiful and I'm glad to even have a couple in my stash um so she did have a few like carrying case options on her site but I ultimately decided to go with this because I thought it was super cute and it would hold the few amount of pens I was ordering so this, I think, came with one of her, um, she does, like, subscription boxes, I think, um, and this was with the Go-Getter, go or Goal getter I'm not sure. I don't know if all of my pens will fit in here, because it might be a tight squeeze, but I kind of want to open these now. I guess it's easier at the bottom. I'm hoping they all can fit. That way I don't have to find like another place to store them. Oh, this one is so nice. Yeah, I don't think that last one's gonna fit in there. We might be able to force her in though, let's see. I love the little boxes they come in too. That's really nice. Oof. <laughs> yeah that's a tight squeeze because I can't even get that back out but I think we could manage yeah we can definitely fit all five in there uh but yeah so that is perfect I don't have to find like separate storage and yeah so that was my first order from Villa Beautiful and then I will show you the item I went back for, but first I did pick up this like storage pouch, which I just thought was super gorgeous, and I thought I could store like papers and things in there. I might go back and buy a few more. Um, I'm having fun finding new shops, honestly, so there is that. But yeah, so this is a cute little storage bag like situation. I just love like the clear with the black spots. Okay, let's make some sense out of this. Okay, so the item, or these are the freebies and this card is actually in way better shape. Um, So they're the same exact freebies. This is actually the item I went back for. This is a fountain pen and I've kind of fallen down a fountain pen Whole as well since purchasing this um but this pen is really cool and I did order um so it came with a black ink and a blue and then I ordered the five pack of the black refills um but yeah I love this pen it writes very nice so let me show you 
yeah so how you get the ink in and out is you unscrew this and there's these little cartridges that you have to like push really hard in there I don't know how you get it out um so that will be fun once it runs out of ink to figure out but she does have a um video on it on YouTube but yeah so I did purchase this little carrying case to go along with it it was like two dollars the thing I think I'm most impressed about with her site is that everything was super cheap so um this fountain pen I mean was kind of like moderately priced I think the pen with the two attachment things were like $7.50 and then these were like five dollars maybe um but some of the other things I'm going to show you were actually very well priced so this is actually the thing I went back there for these are what I was originally kind of wanting I, pl I placed this order and then I seen this and I was like wow I really want to try that out and I ended up placing another order and then I found all of these other items so I found these washi tapes this one I thought was really cute it gave me like 90s cup print vibes and carpet um and as well as Christian Designs had like a sticker a $2 Tuesday print that kind of resembled this so I picked that up as well as this one which is a really gorgeous let me get my swatch book because I did open them and swatch them okay so I have some other things that I haven't hauled yet on the other side um but this one is like I don't know how to explain it it's glossy and it's super thick I had to use my knife to cut it um, but it's so gorgeous. It's just got that, like, wildflower print. And then there is that really pretty, like, 90s vibe. Okay, so I found those washies. And then next we'll go over here. I did buy quite a bit of adhesive pockets. So this pack. I think it came with two. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I gave myself a paper cut. This is like a super tiny one. Um, and then this one is really large. But they're just little adhesive pockets. I'm really into journaling. So I thought these were amazing to just kind of use in my journals. To put things in the pocket. Well, I don't know. Out of pocket. And then I found this one. Which these are really cute. These are adhesive pockets as well, and these came from a kit, like one of her, what are they, like subscription boxes. Um, it was a like plant theme, so there's this little one, there's a medium size one, and then this large one. And they're really cute, they're just um, little pockets to place in my journal to store things. And then I purchased two sheets of these because I knew I was going to love them. These are actually wax seal stickers. So they're 3D and let's open a pouch. I ordered two and then I noticed on their site that they said one per household so or else like they would cancel your order. So I quickly messaged them and they were so sweet and said that it was fine and they actually lifted that, um, I don't know if they were going to lift that anyways, but they lifted the max you could buy. So yeah, I have two sheets of these. They're really nice and I cannot wait to use them. So let me lift one off of here. I don't know if you can tell. They're being held on by like a little adhesive dot. And then there's this little sticker backing so you could stick them on your page. And again, for journaling, I just feel like these would be super cute. So, yeah. Uh, that was all of, like, the stickered items. Next, I found a boatload of clips, dangles, charms, all the things. And I'm in love with them. And they were all, again, super good priced. Um, I don't have, like, the prices next to me, but 
nothing right here was over I think like five dollars which is insane so this is a little magnetic charm and it is this like cheetah print heart which if you know me I love cheetah prints so I I jumped at this and um I can't wait to find a place to put it I've kind of been buying more charms and pins and I kind of want to start like a little bag that just holds them all so there's that one and then I did purchase these dangle clips these come from the same bundle that the plant sticky pockets came from um but yeah so these were really cute and very reasonably priced so I picked them up and I figured I could hang them off of my journal or something this one is not a magnetic pin but it's just a normal one with a normal little backing and it says planner in the wild I don't know if this was kind of like a go wild inspired pin but I just thought it was cute and I could again stick it on that said bag that I don't have yet another normal pin um these are all enamel too but this is just like a little traveler's notebook pin and it says secrets on there so this is just so gorgeous and again not reasonably priced the last two are actual actually dangle charms and I love them they're so pretty this one is just so feminine and I can just see it hanging off of my journal so next week you'll see my walkthrough of my journal I've been using and you won't be surprised to see this hanging off of there because that is definitely going on there and then last this is the last item of this haul I did okay I didn't mean to do that I did pick up this gorgeous little like rainbow charm so I don't know where I'm gonna stick this yet um but this was just so pretty and I was surprised that it wasn't like $15 it was like five but yeah this is really cute and don't know where I'm gonna put it but we will find a place for her and yeah that was everything guys so I it's a new to me shop and I will definitely be shopping again um I don't know if for these pens maybe they'll grow on me um they are super gorgeous and they do work better than most so I will give them that they write better than most pretty pens do so I know I don't know if you're the same way but Sometimes when you get like a pretty pen just for the look, it's either ballpoint ink, which yuck, or they just skip a ton. This one actually you seen when I was writing with them, like they weren't skipping. I I did have a few instances. I don't know if it's just the type of paper I was writing on or what, but I do really enjoy these pens and they're they're better than again like your typical pen you'll find in the store so yeah love her shop um and I actually love like the name Villa Beautiful so I think the owner's name is Tiffany or Tiff and she put her name in there and I love that so yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and going through a little haul um I love finding new shops and purchasing all the things. I love just growing my collection of stationary items and this was definitely one on the bucket list. I've seen their shop many times and I never placed a purchase but I am definitely happy that I did. So yeah, thanks again for hanging out with me and I will see you next week with a whole new set of videos. Bye!